What's up guys, my name is Alex Costa and have you ever heard someone say, women don't like nice men? Or maybe it's, I wish I could meet a nice guy like you. It's confusing as hell for us guys, right? I guess that's why it's called the bad boy mystery. I mean, why? Why is it that a girl would purposely choose someone they know is a terrible guy over someone they know is a good dude? Well, listen up. What they like is the idea of a bad boy. Some very few characteristics that bad boys have. But in reality, they don't want the full bad boy package. So today we're gonna go over when to go for the bad boy approach and how to get the baddest bad boy look when you need it. Bad boy trick number one, be mysterious. Think about it this way. If you tell the girl all of your good traits the first time that you meet her, then how hard is it gonna be to impress her the next day? It's actually better to not give away all of your best characteristics or even secrets in the beginning. You have to leave a little bit of mystery there, right, for her to find out herself. And that's because actions work better than words. So why not show them instead of talking about them, right? There's no reason to rush into getting to know someone. That's usually a turn off for girls. So throw some mystery in the conversation, all right? Being mysterious can be very sexy. So let your actions do the talking, you know? Give them time to form their own thoughts and opinions about you instead of giving everything away on the first day. Do you know what goes really well with being mysterious? Being daring. Hey, you should try something new. You know, I don't know, maybe it's skydiving or bungee jumping, maybe it's something simple like a different nightclub today. You've been to that same place every night this week. That's a typical bad boy trait that girls like. Bad boys are not scared of trying something new, you know, or opening up to different activities. You have to be open-minded about things and not be scared of new experiences in your life. You also really don't wanna be asking permission all the time to try new things, whether it's from your partner, your mom, or your best friend. There are really nice guys who always ask for permission before doing anything or trying something new, and that can come off as insecure. And that's a trait that girls do not like. To be clear, it doesn't mean that you should make bad decisions, right? Just make sure they're your own decisions. Be confident in your own decisions. Don't let other opinions get in your way. Next up, guys, and this is a big one, all right? Bad boys can't be scared or embarrassed of normal day-to-day -day situations. You have to take some risks and break out of your comfort zone, all right? You're gonna have to lose that fear of being judged. You can't just sit on the sidelines when everyone's talking, all right? You, you gotta be part of that conversation. You can't be scared for having too much attention on you, for having people look at you and try to listen to what you're saying. You need to push yourself and make sure to be sociable when the time is right. You need to be present and not invisible in the back somewhere. If you go out with a group of people and you barely say anything all night, people aren't even gonna notice you. You're gonna get zero attention and that could be really bad. And I'm not saying you should try to be loud and obnoxious because you should not. But you have to be comfortable in any situation and keep your cool at all times, all right? Do that enough and you're gonna actually start feeling confident about being yourself and being part of the conversation. And confidence, my friends, that is sexy. All right, so you think you're ready and now you wanna play the part. Well, you have to dress the part. First impressions are extremely important, so you definitely have to put some thought into your appearance. And the tip that I'm about to give you is actually one of the most important tips I could ever give you when it comes to looking cool, all right? It's a weird tip, but hear me out. You have to look effortlessly great, meaning you have to look good, but as if you didn't even try to look good. You spent 30 minutes getting ready, but you look like you just got ready in two minutes. That's the weird secret, all right? So it can't be perfect. Your hair can be a little bit messy. Your beard doesn't have to be all perfectly groomed. Your pants shouldn't be tight and super skinny. That's too high maintenance. Bad boys don't do that. Nothing screams out badass like a leather jacket with some accessories. I'm not talking about the dorky long leather jackets your uncle wears, by the way, drooping all over his arms. No disrespect to Uncle Jack, but We've come a long way since then, all right? Try something new, go for it. And if you think you can't pull it off, you are wrong. You definitely can pull it off. As for shirts, definitely no button ups, all right? Try something with a little bit more attitude, something fun, like a fun print like this, nothing crazy. And oh yeah, you cannot forget to throw on some accessories. Rings, for example, definitely badass, all right? You're gonna wanna throw some accessories, whether it's a watch, a necklace, ring, something to just show some more personality. Even my hair right now, you know, it's a little bit per too perfect. Like, I don't look like a badass. It needs to be like super high and crazy, or like it needs to be coming down. Like, you know, I just had a fight with someone and I definitely won that fight. That's kind of the look you're going for. You can't pull this look off, by the way, if your posture isn't right. dude. You're not gonna be a bad boy if you're walking around like this the whole time, all right, with your like slouched back and shoulders. You need to make sure that your chest is out and your shoulders are back. You know, good posture goes a long way. I've been working on my phone and my laptop 
way more than I should. So my posture has actually been terrible lately. And I actually bought me and my brother uh, these back braces here that really help. And if you guys are serious about this, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Uh, they're pretty cheap. I don't know how much they were, but they were pretty cheap and a great reminder to just keep your back straight at all times when you're working, when you're on your phone, when you're at home. I wear these a lot. You can actually wear them under a t-shirt too. You can't really see them. So tip for you guys. Even if you are going for the bad boy look, you should still get one of these because bad posture is terrible for you. All right, if you guys wanna show me your favorite bad boy look, we have a level up Facebook community where we add new members all the time, where we share pictures. It's a private community, all right? Share pictures, stories. So I'm gonna leave the link for that in the description below. Go join so we can talk and uh, we can rate your bad boy looks, all right? And also, guys, I'm so excited, man, because we are just about to hit 2 million subscribers and I just wanna take a moment to thank you guys. This YouTube journey has been nothing short of amazing and I'm excited to celebrate this weekend with my friends here in LA. The road to 3 million starts now. I, I have the tendency of doing that. I'm like, all right, I hit this goal. Let's make it bigger. Let's keep going. Uh, also guys, I'm sending out free weekly emails, um, things that I don't usually talk about here on the channel, like personal stories of mine and how I overcame some of these issues. The links to my free newsletter is gonna be in the description below, so make sure to sign up. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace. Actually, thank you is like too nice. You watch this, like it, subscribe, follow me. Check out, check out my rings. I'm, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's not a bad boy. <laughs>